Good morning, everybody. Saturday, December 7th. It's right around 11.30 a.m. I'm down here at the fireplace shelter. I'm gonna do another camp out here tonight. It's supposed to be down in the low 20s. So it uh, should be a test. See how good this thing will keep me, you know, how warm it'll keep me, rather. I'm gonna dig it out bigger, make it more comfortable. Um, before I forget, Ian Robson, Wizen PA, and Papa Bear. You guys were the only three that said you were in on my giveaway, so you all win. <laughs> so uh, when you guys watch the video, just chime in and I'll get with you and give you my contact info and we'll figure out how we're gonna get together. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make this thing bigger and uh, I do not have a sleep system, a ground sheet, bedroll, anything. So I'm gonna have to put some kind of some something I don't know I'm gonna have to figure something out <laughs> so uh yeah it should be interesting I'm gonna start digging this thing out first though and uh, I'll worry about the bed later I have some logs over there and I don't know I'll figure something out all right so as you can see I've been busy uh, I got a call from my mother and I was talking to her and I didn't want to just uh sit there and talk and not do any work so i started digging out but uh yeah my plan is i'm gonna put a raised bed in from there over to here and that'll give me a nice heat underneath from the fire pit there i dug the fire pit out to keep it more inside this time so i don't get as much smoke because last time i had a lot of stuff sticking out from the chimney there and it kept uh anytime anything was out from the chimney rather it smoked inside so uh i got the bricks in there now to keep everything inside so hopefully i don't have that problem <clears throat> um so yeah i got a little bit more work to do and i got i'm gonna use that big log there and i got two more there for my bed that should be enough really and then it'll just be uh firewood after that But I'm very happy with this little cheap Harbor Freight shovel.
couple more. Uh, maybe one more thin one or or uh, one more thick one. Actually, like that ain't bad. It's not bad at all, really. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Get my tarp up over me. Yep. I'm gonna go with kind of a open A-frame, like a lean-to A-frame, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but you'll see what I mean. So I'm thinking that heat and that fire is going to roll right up underneath it there. I'm going to try to find one more. And that ought to be good. But even the way it is, I can make it work. It'll be good for sitting and tending the fire and all, too. And I lined the floor with bricks just to help air, you know, get air under there and all. And these bricks here should keep the logs inside so my smoke should stay in this time. Go in the chimney, I mean, instead of coming in here. So yeah, this ought to be decent. Yeah, I did not bring any sleeping bag, any sleeping pad. The only thing I brought as far as shelter goes is a tarp. <laughs> my 10 by 10. It's some kind of treated polyester. It's pretty light. It weighs 1.8 ounces. 1.9 ounces with the bag and uh, it's waterproof I, you guys seen it on the last one I still got to try to find one more I'd like to find one more anyway I don't absolutely have to but I'd like to find one more log and uh then I gotta get on firewood. Still got all this from the last time, but I'm gonna need more than that. I just wanted to show you I got the bed done. I'm gonna lay on it, but I'm gonna, when I sleep on it tonight, I'm gonna put my backpack up at that end and put my head on that so it'll be even more comfortable. I said this before, three o'clock in the morning, I know I won't be comfortable anymore, but uh, it'll be a good start to the night anyway. And it should be warm once I get my, my uh, tarp up. And I had a good find when I found this last, that's a, a beaver. <laughs> when I found that I um, also found this which is oak scarlet oak and there's a bunch of it and it's all dry it's been down for probably over a year and it's all dry now and it's, it's looking good so I'm going to get that too Let's check it out all oh, that's oak I noticed it does have leaves on it but it's totally dry. So maybe it hasn't been down here for a year, but it's been down long enough that it's dry enough to snap off. You see that? <laughs> Ain't nothing green about that. Yeah, this stuff's ready to burn. And there's a lot of it. There's enough to get me through a couple nights. So yeah, this is awesome. This stuff's gonna burn long and gonna burn for a long time and it's gonna burn hot. So I forecast a warm night tonight. <laughs> so it's uh, 241. I got all this firewood. It's all oak. This big piece too. 
And um, I'm still going to go get a little bit more. I thought I seen something. But I'm still going to go get a little bit more. But I, I just wanted to talk about this bed. This is the second time I've done a raised bed like this, where you just, instead of raising the bed, you drop the floor, basically. But the cool thing about doing it this way is you don't need to have all your leg your legs, yeah, all your logs be the same thickness because you can just adjust the depth of how far you set them in to make them all level. So it's cool. I got like, I mean, two of them logs are close to the same size, but the other two are way smaller, but I still got them all level because of just, I just set them too deeper. Well, that one I left a little up to keep me from rolling out. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, it's cool doing it this way. And um, I think it's gonna end up, I think it's gonna be a warm night with all this oak, but I gotta continue to get more wood. And I'm thinking for my tarp, I'm gonna set up between that tree and this tree and have a kind of an A-frame offset a little bit. Not, not directly over me, but kind of, angled a little bit um yeah last time i had it between that tree that one going like that and this one this time i'm going to do it between this one and the other black cherry over there i don't know we'll see how that works out just cutting up some of this oak this stuff's tough to cut As hard as it is to cut, it's worth it though. This stuff is super dense and burns for a long time. See what I got to cut it here. I'm sure you don't want to watch me cut it all. All right, so I'm getting ready to put this tarp up. I'm not going to use a ridge line though. I'm just going to use the tie outs on the tarp itself and tie it that way because this spread I have there is just barely over 10 feet. So it won't take much cordage at all.
always forget to drink. That's actually looking pretty good the way it is right now. Yeah, when I go to settle in for the night, I'll stake it down on the down here on both ends. Right now, I'm gonna flip it over. Continue to get wood and all that. I wasn't sure where I was going to be able to stack this stuff. But now I see I got plenty of room. So it's about 10.05. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to get dark. See the sun's getting ready to set. Um... Got almost all my firewood cut up. I got a decent amount of little stuff too. And for tinder, I have um, I have a little bit of fat wood that I found the other day, and uh, some tulip poplar bark that I just found on the way in here this morning, and uh, a little bit of birch bark as well. So fire shouldn't be a problem. That's all I got left to cut up. Just this little bit here. I had a couple packs of tuna. I'm gonna wrap them up. I got a plastic bag when I get my um, get my stuff and put it in here. I'm gonna get a plastic bag out of there and throw it out of there and get my fire started. I have a steak and I have. Um, a potato that I'm gonna bake. I have it in foil and I have a little bit of butter too. I'm gonna to put it in and bake it for like an hour on the coals. So, uh, should be good. <laughs> should be a good dinner. I'm pretty hungry. Even I ate that tuna, but I've been steady working the whole time. And, uh, I'm still hungry. All right, so I'm gonna get this fire going and I'm gonna use the firefly. Here it is. And this is a mod that I made, a modification I made to make this thing easier to use because the last time I used it, I broke it. So I've been, after that, I started thinking, you know, what could make this thing more sturdy? So I cut a notch in this stick. It's just a little bit shorter than the, than the firefly. And then, uh, yeah, with this notch, you can slide it in there like that, and it'll it'll make it a lot stronger. You don't have to worry about breaking it now. And uh, as I'm getting ready to show you <laughs> when I start this fire up, but yeah, you know, it's a lot easier to use now. Yeah, so here we go. Get some of this on there. Some of that fat wood on there. Yeah, and I just made this a little bit snug so that it'll stay in there. It's, it's so much easier to use it like this.
yeah, it didn't, no problem whatsoever. Never once felt like it was gonna break or anything. So I think this is a good tool to have. All you gotta do is use the stick thing and you, and you don't have to worry about breaking anything. This is all oak. Got a little bit of um, birch bark too, river birch. And that's oak that, that that's on top of too. This oak's a little harder to get going than pine or whatever, but once this stuff gets going, it's gonna be super hot. Yeah, once this stuff gets going though, it'll it's gonna be super hot. I had to back you guys up a little bit because last time I had you up close like that, the my phone started overheating. And I don't want to mess my phone up. Got rid of a bunch of mold off of there. The spine of this knife. This is a nice little knife. I put I sharpened it too, and it you can put a nice edge on this thing. Yeah, I got no complaints. Decent little knife. The Joker. Made in Spain. I paid thirty dollars for it. On Amazon, you gotta love it. Get everything on Amazon. <laughs> I don't, but I mean you can get everything on Amazon. I got this this tarp that's over my head and uh, so far I'm liking that and that was $30 as well So far, it looks like it's working with the wood staying behind this brick line here. 
I mean, as far as keeping the smoke out. It's time for some coffee, I think. bring much to eat today I'm very hungry I think I told you guys that I, I repeat myself a lot <laughs> I see that I'm trying to work on not doing that as much
Let's go see what this looks like <clears throat> on the outside. Check it out. How's that for a stealth fire? closed in the back of this thing too. Sorry about that. Yeah, closed in the back. Put both flaps in and staked it and then put a stick in the middle to hold them together. Looks like it's working pretty good so far. having to put a ridge line anyway so I could get the light over for filming. Yeah, but uh can't get much more stealthy than that. As far as the fire goes. <laughs> it's awesome. And it's wet out here, so I don't have to worry about rain. I mean, uh, sparks. Because it rained all night last night. I just finished putting, I don't know why I didn't show you, but I just finished putting uh, butter on a, on a potato. Now I'm going to wrap it all up and put it by the fire for about an hour. And let these coals build while I'm waiting for this to cook. And then I'll throw the steak on. And by the time the steak's done, everything should be done. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Just going to set it right down in there. Wow, that's hot already. I'm going to use them. Use them bricks there to hold the heat in a little better. I don't know if you guys heard that gunshot or not. I don't know if the camera picked it up. Yeah, here's my buddy. I didn't bring any knife. Well, I do have my knife, but I'm not getting butter all over my knife because I don't have any napkins either. But I, I didn't bring any uh, utensils, eating utensils at all. So I'm going to have to make some kind of a fork for my steak. And I'll use my knife for that. And uh, the potato, I'll use, I'm going to make some kind of, a, like I say, a, sp a fork or spork or whatever. Some of this oak ought to be good for that. And, uh, I'll figure something out because I'm definitely going to eat. I wanted to show you guys this rock that I found. Big, big flat rock here. Pretty nice. <laughs> nice little table.
Check it out. I closed it in. I'm almost completely closed in. I got a little tiny gap right there. And a little gap over there. And that's it. On that end over there, I'm, I got the doubled up. I forgot I had my little stump. <laughs> my potato caught on fire. Well, not the potato, but the butter. I had to mess with that a little bit. And I'm getting ready to work on a some kind of a eating utensil here shortly. I made myself a little fork. Just that'll be plenty strong enough to hold my steak and uh, eat my potato with. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm just waiting on my water. It's almost ready. I think I'm gonna have hot chocolate instead of uh, coffee just to just to give me some calories because I'm feeling a little hungry and a little worn out, honestly. And as soon as these coals are ready, then I'll be I'll be in business to cook my dinner and cook my steak. I mean, got my potato on. So I'm getting ready to have some hot chocolate here. Clean this cup a little bit. Miss hot chocolate. That ought to give me a little bit of energy. Got marshmallows in it, so <laughs> definitely gonna get amped off of this sugar. I don't really use sugar like that. I very rarely use sugar, honestly. Smells really good. <laughs> Put it over here on the rock. Because if I leave it over there, it's going to burn my mouth when I try to drink it. I learned that the last time. I made a stir stick for my hot chocolate. Crude, but it works. I think that'll do it. This stuff smells really good. I, don't, I hardly ever drink hot, hot chocolate. I like it, but just most of the time I drink coffee. So it's 31 degrees. 
pretty warm, honestly. I mean, it's a little cold. A little bit cold behind me here, but um, considering that it's below freezing, it's not. <laughs> it's nowhere near that bad. I, I took my hat off. I just got this thing on because I uh, had hair. <laughs> but uh, I'm not cold. Jacket's unzipped and all. I have an extra fleece in my um, pack. In case I need it later. So hot chocolate's good. I'm just uh, kicking back, waiting for these coals to get ready. I'm going to throw that steak on as soon as they are. I have my potato is basically done. I think I'm going to eat that while I'm waiting on these coals because they're still going to be a little bit. Know, I'm going to check it out. All right, so I got my steak here. I didn't marinate this one, though, so I'm going to put some... Some black, sorry, some cracked pepper in there with it. see where I'm going with it. All right, so I got the pepper on it. I like a lot of pepper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's difficult filming in here with the, uh, it's just so cramped. It's gotta be though, it's, it's the only way to stay warm. It's gonna be down to 24 tonight. And I don't have a sleeping bag or a blanket or a, pa a sleeping pad or anything. So the only, way I'm staying warm is if uh, it stays warm in here. So it's got to be a small little shelter for that to work. I'm getting ready to put this thing on there in a minute. Put it on there right now. Five minutes. Yep, five minutes it'll be done. Or it won't be done, but it'll be ready to flip. And my potato, I never did eat it. It's down there under the steak. I'm going to eat it all at the same time. I'm going to put some more pepper on there because I didn't get that side very well. I had it in that baggie and I couldn't, it was hard to uh, get it. stuff that crack black pepper they sell this at Dollar Tree and uh, it's really good there was a black bear spotted in in Wilmington Delaware which is about eight miles from where I'm at 
or that part of where it was at anyway is Alapocus Park and Brandywine State Park is where they saw it. But it was in a populated area and, and there was people who got it on video with their cell phones through their windows of their houses <laughs> as it walked through their yards. And it was a, probably a 250 to 300 pound male, all black with a white tuft of hair in, his, in the center of his chest. He was a very healthy looking bear. I don't want this to burn. Sometimes you have to improvise. <laughs> yeah. That's better. So yeah, it was a pretty good sized bear. I saw the video and um, kind of crazy because bears don't typically come in Delaware. It's just, a, it's a very small state and uh, they don't typically come here. They're surrounding us though, it makes sense. I mean, people say they're, that they're not here at all and that, you know, they say that about rattlesnakes too because we don't see them very often, but, but they, the alarm cut off my, <laughs> my talk. Yeah, they have them in New Jersey and they have them in Maryland, so, and, and Pennsylvania. And we're surrounded by all three of them states, so it stands to reason that we would have them as well. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I can get the damn thing to stand up. <laughs> fork worked pretty good. <laughs> so, so four minutes on this side. My steak's done. Look pretty damn good. <laughs> and my uh, potatoes done as well. pretty good. Right, my potato is not done, I can feel it. But my steak is. Potato is going on the coals. <laughs> the potato and the steak's going in my in my belly. All right, so now I'm gonna eat some of this steak. I had to put my last good batteries in that 
in that uh, light up there. Them dollar store batteries wear out fast. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. I need this. I was hungry. Much today. Fork's working out great. The steak's pretty good too. Yep. The oak fork. These things are solid too. And as you can see. Steak's nice and tender. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. So that thing's devoured, it's gone, I ate it all. Very good. Not gonna lie, I missed my marinade. I wish I would have marinated it. But uh, the black pepper, the cracked black pepper is better than nothing for sure. My potato, hopefully that'll be done soon because I, I wouldn't mind eating that as well. Before I try to get a little bit of sleep. So I'm getting ready to have some more coffee. You can hear it boiling. That's a cool thing. I like this. I like this little kettle. It's decent. Yeah, I, I got that thing for really cheap, like $3 or something like that. And then the cup was another $1.50, I think. I paid for this. For this. This is an old school camp cup. The, the handle doesn't fold like the new kind do, but it's all good. Whoa. <laughs> It's all good, it works for me. It's totally smoke free in here. I haven't had any smoke back up in here at all. That's steam from the coffee you're seeing right now. I've not had any smoke at all back into this shelter all night, so. Me moving those bricks in underneath of that thing there actually worked. <laughs> That's pretty cool.
my potatoes done. <clears throat> <laughs> it smells really good. Pretty good, I just had a bite. Yeah, it's, it's real good actually. Kinda hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna finish this up. I just had to show you this. I, I put some, um, some butter and some of that cracked black pepper in here this this is amazing yeah this is really good I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna definitely bring potato again the next time hey, I'll tell you what that was really good and um, this little fork thing worked out great uh, yeah that thing was cooked so well that it was like uh, it was just like mashed potato in there it was, it was really really good when I added the butter to it and the um, the cracked black pepper that was like I just put it over the top I wish I'd have had a bigger one or another one anyway <laughs> yeah it's pretty good I think I'm gonna try the skin it's a little burnt but I don't know I wanna see it see it, if I can get it without letting the thumb go Yeah, a little bit fun. <laughs> a little dirty too, but but it not it tasted good. But I can I got like grit <clears throat> grit in my mouth, sand or something. But uh it's all good. Yeah, that oak is burning slow. Good. Because it's going to be cold tonight. It's already cold. I got a pair of pants, thermal pants, too, that my wife put in my backpack, I think. Because uh, I didn't put them in there. <laughs> that's all good I want to put them on for sure in my upper body I put my fleece on and I'm pretty uh, pretty comfy now actually yeah I got the this, this thing's really nice it's got pockets on it too you can wear it without a jacket it's pretty warm It ain't 24 degrees warm. I mean, if I was just laying outside, I'd be freezing. But in here with, with this, in combination with the fire and the tarp and everything, I think I'll be good. Because I want to, you know, I plan on sleeping. I didn't bring sleeping bag and all that, but I still plan on getting a little bit of sleep tonight. Or I hope to anyway. I don't actually plan on it, but I hope to. fire's going good. It's starting to warm up in here. It's starting to get chilly. So it's 10.30 and uh, 27 degrees out. It's quite toasty in here though. With the um, 
additional clues. <laughs> that is, the only reason I'm barefoot is because I'm, my socks were a little damp and I'm drying them out before I go to sleep. Um, I, I yeah, couldn't think of what I wanted to say. Having a little bit of issue with condensation on the tarp, so I actually moved the bed over this way to about a, a foot, roughly, just to keep me off of the tarp. So hopefully it doesn't, uh, it's not a problem. I can go out there and pull it out a little bit, but then I'm going to lose some of the warmth. <laughs> Because I, I had it out earlier and it was just uh, it was a lot of cool air coming in, coming in from under there. Yeah, it's 27 degrees out. And uh, that thing's going very good. Very happy with it. And I'm using that big rock there too. I found, I found that too. And I'm gradually heating it up. So I don't want it to break. So I've been just gently heating it. But it's to the point now where it's actually comfortable to touch it. it like you would, you know what I mean? My hand would be cold otherwise. It's not cold at all. It's, it's very comfortable actually. <laughs> it's not, I wouldn't say it's warm, but uh, it's like probably the same temperature as me because I don't feel any cool or warm. Yeah, that's crazy. So it's on its way to being warm. And it feels like it's sandstone. It's got a little bit of a grit. This would be a heck of a sharpening stone, actually. <laughs> and, it's, and the other side is just as smooth. It's crazy. Yeah, the other side's just as smooth. It's actually, it's got a little lump there, but it's still very smooth too. That side's nicer though. But yeah, anyway, I'm using that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let that absorb up heat and slide it underneath of this bed before I go to sleep. But I'm pretty comfortable, even with barefoot, right? I mean, I'm totally comfortable right now. I'm, I wouldn't go to sleep that way because uh, when the fire goes down, it's gonna get cold and I ain't trying to get frostbite. <laughs> and it's, it's definitely cold enough. It's gonna be, like I said, it's 27 degrees right now. And 24 is gonna be the low. So, uh, pretty cold. Yeah, that's uh, 27 degrees Fahrenheit, so I, I don't know what that is. Celsius, like uh, negative five, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. It's below freezing, that's all that matters. If you put a glass of water out, it's gonna turn into ice. <laughs> no matter what, how you gauge it. Coffee doesn't taste nearly as good when it's cold. <laughs> that, I'm not even gonna drink it. I'm gonna actually go to try to go to sleep here shortly. Yeah, this thing's very nice. But now it's just warm, ambient heat. It just radiates through here. It's like it's crazy. The tarp is letting in. It, the last time I stayed out, well, it wasn't as cold the last time either, but I think the double shelter held more heat. And I think if I was to build a, a um, natural shelter over this with insulation, it would be, I think you could sit in here in a pair of shorts then. 
because uh, the only flaw that this thing has, the only weakness it has right now is this thin top <laughs> that has no insulation. But one thing for sure, it's a lot warmer than 27 degrees in here. I don't know what it is. I'd say somewhere probably in the area of 40 degrees. But 40's not bad. My, I'm sitting here. It's probably warmer than that, actually, because I'm, I don't even have my hat or anything on. And my ears are not cold. My nose is not cold. So yeah, it's probably warmer than that even. It's probably closer to 50 degrees, honestly. Sorry. <laughs> I can see my breath a little bit, I think. Yeah, just a little bit. So it's probably yeah, somewhere right in the area of 50 degrees. 45 to 50 but it's much more comfortable in here than it is out there well I guess I'm going to try to get some sleep so I'll see you guys in the morning Deer. That was crazy. They were all around me for a minute. Guess they didn't know I was here. Yeah, that was crazy. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to sleep again. I'll see you guys in the morning. Everything's out tonight.
I got deer barking, owls calling, foxes yelling or crying and screaming, whatever the hell they do. <laughs> it's crazy. I, it was crazy earlier a minute ago. I was just starting to lay down and get comfortable. I was just getting to where I was feeling right, and that thing came right up behind me. It was like, <laughs> And then one called back to it from on the other side. And then it was another one, who, it was crazy. They were all around me. There was at least three of them. I think there might've been four though. Yeah, yeah that was crazy, it was cool. I don't know, maybe they did know I was here. Maybe they were messing with me. I don't know, it was pretty cool though. And then, like I said, I just just heard an owl and a fox <laughs> right after the deer. And the deer's still out there yelling too, barking too, but they moved further away. Yeah, there was a, a place when I was coming in here that uh, was just a bare patch of earth, and it was just completely covered. I should have taped it. I don't. I always forget, but completely covered with deer tracks and I trampled over all of it to hide it from the hunter because <laughs> I don't want them coming out of here um, they probably already know it's there anyway though. yeah and a while back I saw where foxes had dug a hole and I couldn't figure out what it was but it was actually turtle snapping turtle eggs that had been buried there and the fox dug it up. That was in the same same place where the deer tracks are. It's one of my videos not that long ago. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm going to try to go back to sleep or try to get some sleep anyway. I'll see you guys in the morning. It was 3.15. <clears throat> it's uh, it's cold. 25 degrees, so it feels like 20. And I agree. <laughs> it's definitely cold. I woke up and uh, the fire was down the coals, and I was very cold. I have uh, everything on that I have with me, except gloves and my boots. I got two pairs of wool socks on and my feet are warm. <laughs> my feet been warm the whole time and it, not, not once have they been cold. Except when I was barefooted earlier, but not, not at all since the doubled up wool socks. Made more coffee. Oh, I gotta try to get my tent back up. So I'm actually gonna try to go back to sleep. I uh, took my space blanket out of my um, sorry. <laughs> took my space blanket out of my first aid kit. So I'm gonna go back to sleep now because I was uh, when that fire went out, I got pretty cold, and I don't want to get cold like that again. So I will see you guys in the morning. So it's about 20 to 7. And uh, I just woke up about five minutes ago, I guess. It's 22 degrees. 
out there. It's warm in here though. I um once I started using the space blanket, I was good, I was comfortable then. And uh it was uh that was all I needed to to help me sleep. I I, I guess it was around I don't know what time it was when I started using it. But whenever it was I slept after that I slept pretty good. It's um Yeah, it's warm in here. It's it's pretty nice. The tarp side of my body was cold. For a while without the space blanket. Like I said, once I used the space blanket, I was good. <laughs> Um, yeah, the space bike, it made the difference. That gave me the ability to, to be comfortable enough to sleep. I was comfortable enough to, or warm enough rather, to survive without the blanket, but with it, I was able to get some, some, uh, proper sleep, if you will. All right, I gotta start getting all my stuff together because uh, I got stuff everywhere. Because I'm a bit of a slob, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just, it was tight, tight in here. And I got a lot of ice built up from condensation. You guys can see it or not it's all over the inside of my tarp yeah it got pretty cold you can see definitely see ice up there <laughs> that's cool I mean it ain't cool but it's cool that it didn't get on me <laughs> I knew it. I seen that it was going to be an issue last night, and I got myself away from the tarp. But I didn't really have many options. It was either uh, deal with condensation or open it up, and then it was going to be way too cold. So I just dealt with the condensation. Yeah, yeah the sun's starting to come up now. So I'm gonna get my stuff packed up and uh, I'll talk to you before I leave. I just wanted to show you how cold it actually got. This this thing's all iced up. I just flipped it open so it'd be easier for me to see while I break this thing down. Yeah, it's pretty cold now. <laughs> it was a lot warmer with that tar bone. That'll motivate me to get myself in gear and get this stuff packed up. All right, so I got the camp all broke down. Poured the rest of my water on the fire. It's, it's out, it's just steaming now. Uh, it was a good night, but it was a cold night. And uh, in retrospect, I would have brought a sleeping bag or I would have built some kind of a natural shelter with insulated walls, leaf, you know, debris. Debris or something because uh, that tarp by itself was cold. <laughs> if it wasn't for me having that space blanket in my, in my uh, first aid kit, I would have been a lot more uncomfortable than I was. I would have survived, but I wouldn't have been able to sleep. Not nearly as much as I did anyway. Got all my stuff right there. Everything's in my backpack. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me on yet another trip, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.